Good afternoon, Year 6, and welcome to your RE lesson. So we've looked at the Hindu response, the Jewish response, and the Islam response um, to caring about the environment. So the last one we've got to look at is the Christian response. Now, it's really important that you've remembered all of this, the different religious responses because you are going to do a long piece of writing next week um, to support this. So you need to look at what is a Christian? Where do they worship? What are their key beliefs? What are their religious events? So think about Christmas, we can see the photo up there. Easter, we can see a photo of. What are those? What's happened there? Okay. Where do they worship? We know that Muslims worship in a mosque. Um, there's Christians worship in the church. There are different types of churches. Maybe you could look some of that up. Who do Christians believe in? Um, who is the son of God? Um and what are their key beliefs? Think about those Ten Commandments. That might give you a clue. So, Christians have a moral response to care for the world and be guardians. That means look after it, be responsible for it. So, they believe that God created the world. Uh, if we've ever looked at the story of Adam and Eve as well, the story of creation. Uh, and as followers... Christians should look after the planet and everything in it. So God created the world in six days, so Christian believes, and on the seventh day he rested, which is Sunday, which is called the Sabbath, and that's why it's kept holy. So Jesus called his disciples to be guardians and to look after the world. So he was teaching them to look after the world, and that includes the environment as well, not just the people that are in it. So how do Christians' values affect morals? So patience, goodness, kindness, peace, joy, self-control. These are all things that they try to practice daily. Um, again, through those Ten Commandments, um, talking about not stealing, um, not taking the Lord's name in vain. Some of those don't necessarily apply to the environment. But when if you are stealing, maybe that's also picking the flowers in the forest that they could take that to mean. So you need to maybe apply those rules to the environment rather than specifically looking at Christians and if there's written rules about the environment it might be more that you're looking at how they behave and the consequence of that on the environment so for example not stealing so therefore they're not going to take anything out of nature so they're not going to pick flowers because that would be taking it away from nature just an example so Pope Francis wrote a prayer for our earth. Um, the prayer is on the clip below and you can watch it carefully and work out the key meaning of that prayer. What is he trying to get to the bottom of? What's he trying to say? Again, remember our key questions about their view about the environment. So always be linking it back to how they treat our world. So you need to be displaying these answers in a way that you see fit. It could be a PowerPoint presentation. You could write a sort of information booklet for us about what you think you could also write um do a mind map or a poster i don't mind how you present your ideas but i'd really love to see them and you can upload them in your assignment section well done year six